housed within that group. We head into the T pistol. Furia are on the attack, and Rops is going to be very inquisitive towards ramp. Oh, tucking into sandwich power position here. Especially against an execute. Oh, Molly missed. That Ooh. was for sandwich. Complete whiff. He gets to live on, and Rain gets the tap heads. He just holds his nerve and taps away a full clip into two. Clearing now with a strafe around the corner. Rain is farming. He's got three. There's more to come. Ready for Palace. He's got a whole squad to back him up. Art is starting to whittle away at their numbers, though, with his Glock and his Rain before. Yes. Rain not going to have the ace denied by Gay Serato, but the round has been handed to these two on a silver platter. Twist is going to oblige with the final click. And phase continue where they left off. Yeah, picking up the pistol this time round. So it was 13-5, bring it back to a 16-13 scoreline. And now the rounds keep coming. So what's that, 12 consecutive rounds now? Yeah. Was, uh, I'm sure we can keep adding those together to see how long it takes Fury to break on through. And it goes both ways, doesn't it? Because sure, it's been 12 on the trot for FaZe, but quite the contrary for Furia. They haven't got a taste of victory in some time. Yeah, and we were sitting here and we're waiting, you know, the death segment's on and I could just hear this, this talking just off in the distance. Apparently my hearing's still okay. And I'm like, well, Alex, where's that talking coming from? I look out the window and there is uh, Gary outside giving the boys a bit of a talking to. Making sure that they screw their heads on tight and if they can try and pick up Mirage there. Map choice, Caserato trying to tuck tail and well, Rain with a bit of punishment here out the gates. Rops has got a couple on his plate under the window position. Drop alongside of Art, likely to get mopped up by the MP9. Okay, the Glocks. Bang, bang. 9-9, nine, nine, as the Germans would say. Playing around these angles. Wow, another little dink, but it's just the one casualty for FaZe. They even get themselves a couple of pistols of their choosing. 2-0, time to get the guns out. Yeah, not too worried if you lose Brokey in that environment right there. He only had the SMG. Looks like he's got dropped across an M4 to carry forward into round number three, the first gun round. But Rain continuing to do some damage here, and it's great. We, we saw deaths the other day, actually, from Movistar Riders get off to a similar start from the A anchor position. And here's the FaZe Clan fans. Join them, ESL.GG slash fan cam if you want to join the fun. But we want to get into the fun of this first gun round. Fury at three towards mid, dropping K Serato on the extremities. And Brokey has been smoked off here early. Sendiari dump deep, and Yuri has to respect that, but look at Art not respecting anything right now, taking some liberties down towards Connector. A lot of mid control. Fury going through the motions. Caserato already parked on Tetris. It's a passive hold from Rain. Look at the amount of faith he has that no one's going to have crossed that line. They're really focused on this mid from Furia, Art worming his way up. Doesn't want to commit to any, I was going to say committed angles. He's actually up on the box, so Rain just pushing through. Back turn, trade available. Still though, it's Rops. He's got one, Brokey delivers, and the frags are so hard to track because they come in unison. Safe does manage to isolate just the one though. And Caserato, the unknown entity, slithering towards CT. Rops will address it from way back. Good for it. Damn, FaZe looking very possessed here and very threatening at 3-0. You can see the cash already just exhausted out of the Furia account. And we can expect to see FaZe once again just run away with an opener. Yeah, they were very prepared for this, right? You were talking about Rain's position. It was so that they could all focus towards window and collapse on connector together. There's plenty of crossfires available. The only thing that could have really been on their undoing was an A execute where they were locked out of the site and they had to play a little bit more retake centric there, but working perfectly here and likely to grab their fourth consecutive as the Deagles come out. Top mid smoke will spill on into the vision of Brokey. Some util dropped again and it's the same scenes as the previous. They're going to hold Fury at bay here towards top mid and the B apartments. They've got two smokes remaining if they want to go for a late execute. But they're just calling out this early CT util. Maybe going to try and test Carrigan early here. See if the in-game leader on the B bomb site can step on up. And Drop has done exactly that. Rips the head off Rops, and that's an M4 on the ground. You won't be expecting Brokey. He comes on through. Brave as ever. And he takes them both down. Any sort of trade attempt from top mid is dealt with as well. Not backing down from an engagement here, a phase. Oh, this is great. And it wasn't testing Carrigan on B, but speaking of it, K Serato has got himself some room. Now, had the room last round, but... Not sure what he's meant to do with it. Carrigan coming on over, making sure he can scoop up that M4. So looking for upgrades before the round has even subsided. And the issue is for FaZe, they don't know where the bomb is, right? We can see where K Serato is, there's no dramas there, but as FaZe are trying to piece this one together, they're still working out where is he? Could he plant? Where are the gaps? And Carrigan coming back to address the one with the B bomb site. Spots K Serato now, and the bullets of the Deagle not landing true. Rotation coming on over, and not long for this 
Well, it should be Caserado. Yeah. I think after the seventh attempt, you just have to cut your losses. <laughs> Both of them using uh, quite a few bullets there to get that duel done. But Carrigan comes out on top and kills are the issue right now for Furia. Two at the high end for uh, and drop, and well, one apiece for Yuri Caserado and safe within the first four rounds of play. This is where we've got to see how much of Fury's hijinks they're going to be able to get away with. This is uh, their map pick for a reason. They've clearly, you know, sat there, talked it out, and come to the conclusion that Mirage is their best bet up against the phase in the form that they're currently in. I'll double orbs, and when I say double, I mean one on each side. Safe with one and Brokey with the other. Rain aggressive in towards Palace here early. This is a great position late. Brokey might even catch Case Serato. Ooh, just shy. Case Serato profits. Look at all the smokes on mid right now. One, two, three, four, five smokes. Six, in fact. My God. Starting to fade, and Yuri off the back of that has wormed his way unscouted up short. Kagan's a bit of strife here. He doesn't realize it just yet. Trying to pivot on out, but. That push from Short could come at any moment here. Oh, spotted towards the vent room. A good idea. Twist can start to rotate over and back up his in-game leader on B. Safe, loudly. Posts up. Rob's not going to succumb to anything there. And quick smoke. This could be signifying a commitment. Carrigan responsible for Short. Twist has rotated through. Safe trying to use that gap just to punish a connector player. Rob's not interested. Here they come. Still just the two of them to defend this, but Carrigan oh. whoo, loses his head instantly. And there's another drop has found the headshot. And I believe Rain and Rop's going to throw in the towel for this one, preserve what they have. Rain even recovering that AWP from Brokey's corpse. But Fury, a first gun round, one casualty and a conversion. Yeah, beautiful stuff there. And I love the way that they just hang out in the middle. We can get the replay here. This is how it started. It looked like Brokey was going to be good for this, but just under the line of sight was K. Serrato. Yuri with a great one there onto Carrigan. And then the follow-up from drop on a twist. So the B-bomb site decimated on the way on in. And the fact that they dropped those smokes, and you can see Safe looking around, seeing if he can find a pick. They're still in transition at that point. If Safe gets a kill to connector, then they could still go back towards that A-bomb site. The B-defenders could drop on down, come through the underpass late, and they could have worked on the other side of the map if they had liked. So Furia thinking on their toes, but they stick towards the B-bomb site. They find success, and they break the spree of rounds that uh, FaZe Clan has been on since map number one. Plenty of money right now to go around for phase. So no qualms in the buy department. Yuri's been able to pick up the AWP. He can throw that one over to safe here. And they'll get all the goodies they require going forward. Now, Fury, see if they can heat up here on their T side. Was a, a very flat T half on Inferno from phase, and then they still battle back on their CT side. So maybe the Brazilians can do the same here, but it's still very early days. Only five rounds of play. Yeah, we'll see exactly how competitive they plan on being or are enabled to be. Rob's aggressive with that AK. He gets an extra bit of juice in the tank when he has that one-shot headshot on the defense. This is very forward in mid here. Twist is actually going to join Rops. They're both postured forward. Underpass is a problem, but they're hedging their bets that this is a passive play. Brokey's here now to account for that from Connector, so they fortified this mid position. Rain's on retake over towards Ticket, and Carrigan on an island towards B right now, but this is perfect. Fury are just in a standard default. They're not using any utility. They're hoping for a phase aggression across the map, and they're just waiting. They've got the extremities locked down. They've got mid covered off by that AWP, and now with, well, 40 seconds subsiding, they are looking to regroup, regather, and hit a bomb site. Back to A. It's going to be a quick response time from Brokey and Co., Small stones throw from connector to A. It'll have to be a retake A. They have everything they need to execute onto the site right here and more. There's going to be a second layer of defense available from utility for Furia here, and they're going to get on in for yeah, what should be free. All retake. You saw Rain actually react by tucking back into connector. Bit of a whiff nade there. Rain, look at this wall of smokes he's staring at, and he has nothing to report. It's very slow, though, from Furia. Yeah, Carrigan's kept his feet on B. He's so paranoid that this is all a fake. Molly will surely signify there's more. Rain tucks himself in. This is a threatening position, and Art's got the better of him. One down, four to go. More volleys. This is the second wave you were talking about. Look at the floor, laden with flame. No way for him to contribute. CT is a problem. Art wants to plant. Can they contest? Drop, defends, and bomb planted. Brokey now looking to battle his way out of the site. 
Twist trying to fight his way back in. Good damage onto Drop and straight through the default box. A big bang, a big frag, but that was just a consolation prize. Furia will leave with two consecutive. Yeah, they just called it off there. They didn't want anything to do with that phase, hoping to hold onto their guns, reinvest into the next, but beautiful stuff there from Furia. And it seems simple. They were hoping off of that execution that there was going to be a response. There was no response. Uh, the timing on that firebox Molotov was perfect. It meant that Art could focus in towards the site. And great work here. After the smokes had faded, they only had flashes. The flash towards CT to deal with Carrigan while they're getting the bomb down, that was the difference maker. If Carrigan gets away with a kill there, they might consider that retake. But good stuff now as Fury at post two consecutive rounds. Plenty of cash left over as well because they've kept four players alive in their victory. So this is really good work now on the T side and simple stuff. Just sit, wait, first 40, 45 seconds, go past, regroup, execute, and phase around a position. How do they respond? Do they take a more aggressive stance? Do they double up on the extremities? Do they play less mid-centric here? Because that avenue might be open for Furia now, if so. Yeah, Twist departs with Carrigan to B side this time. Not gonna be such a bolstered mid-defense. He'll be sweeping straight up short. They put safe in apartments here with the AWP in case of a little maneuver, right, for an early push out of phase, but not to be. They're happy just to sit on their haunches, hold back, allow Fury to make this move. They're backing their individuals here as we can see this window boost from Rops. It's giving him an elevated position over the underpass, an unlikely clear for drop if he does continue forward on his progressions. But similar scenes, right? Not a whole lot of traction taken early. Here comes Drop, though. Is he going to be prepared for something like this? There's no way. Look at where Rops' crosshair is. Uh, in terms of, like, moments for engagement in his muscle memory, it won't be here. Patience prevails for now. Drop holds his nerve. Yuri holds his smoke. When do they go? It's likely Drop goes after the U2 onto A. So he might get a timing here. This boost could be completely negated. Both joining arts are coming down as well. Oh, this boost. The patience from FaZe Clan. It could be rewarded. Into the toes, knocks the boots off of Drop. And now they're ready and tooled up for a three-man A defense. Good flashes. Brokey CT, they scream. A tag from Safe as he tracks those thighs back into not safety. Looking. Not looking. Art does behead Carrigan, but not prepared for a second. Twist is there. Rain, again, the A defender, stands to deliver just the one. Yuri silences him. Safe to plant. Yuri. They don't contest. He's allowed to stick around on jungle. Can safe get out? Safe tag. Nade on his nose. It's perfect from Brokey. And Yuri trying to be the hero. They spot him out. He's no idea where they're coming from. And it's just too many angles of assault. A well recovered round from FaZe. And everyone chipping in, everyone delivering. Carrigan the only exception. It was a twist double. But FaZe back to their winning ways. They put a lot of stock in that, didn't they? With that boost. They were there almost the entire round. This is a 49 second mark that they've taken any contact. So I think they're aware. Two second semi final of ESL Pro League season 15. It's guns, all of them. Every bell and whistle you could desire. Rocks a little aggressive. The nade implies more. See safe. Posted up to deal with that. And what is he up to? K Serato immediately takes contact. Carrigan prepared. And unflustered. Two through mid this time. Rops' his responsibility. Safe. Fires off a shot. Oh, Rops has got the read. He even does damage. 70 damage inflicted into Art just through the smoke. Just might catch an elbow here on the fade of the smoke, depending on how long he wants to hang around. It actually drops being backpedaling. They're boosting up for this mid peak, and Rops, too aware, is actually out of that line of sight. They are so rigid, aren't they? They got you all covered. Yeah, Rops just got flashed through there into connector as well to take back space. Another smoke deployed, another oh. flash on through. So contesting this is Rops. Gets info for his team and does so safely. Immediately tucks back in. It was just Carrigan looking for answers and you can see that those answers come through the entire five-man squad. No utility at all for FaZe here. Oh, and eventually Twist does win out onto drop. Absolutely lurk. Yuri. Oh, falls off the box. The inaccuracy costs him. And it's his seventh frag for Rops. All phase need is three of these names to be online at the same time right now. Rops, Rain, and Twists. Delivering in buckets and spades, and the half is young. Yeah, two awkward fights here. Twist likely to go down. Oh, the shot missed and oh. stay punished. And now Art, he was 
over towards the vent room. Had a chance for a fight against Carrigan, but he's rotated back as well. 15 seconds left on the clock and does not want to go down. Looks like it jumps into the jaws of Rops. And that's a clean sweep. Everybody's staying alive from face. And look, that started with the aggression over towards B from k but there's no follow through. So if the question was k go take an Angel against Carrigan. We hope that they're going to play more heavy towards middle and get you a one-on-one. -on -one. That wasn't the case at all. And then the round is like a leaky tap, right? Just drips and drabs, drip after drip is the 1v1s that Fury are giving away here. All of these fights, there was no way to trade on a single one of them. So just decimated in that round, Fury. But the buy still back out. There's no dramas in the finance department at least for round number nine, but in round number 10, might be some issues without the plan. Yeah, definitely a must win. You can see pace out of art this time. He hasn't been able to worm behind enemy lines as often as he does. That's an exception. Rob's exceptional. Three HP still pulls Yuri out of the round. They're into B. They do shut him down. And Twists, playing from afar, has to try and deal with this cross. It's a very tight angle. Safe posted up, but Twist is still present. They are into the site. Safe responsible for the plant, but he was also posted up on short. Where is Art off to? I'm going to call another save here, FaZe. When it's been rounds like this, they have called it off. Yeah. Uh, so likely to see the same happen again here. They did have their bounce back, but it's been pretty good out of Furia here. Looking to get their third and keep it only a three-round game. And that's often our entry, right? We were looking for that on Inferno. We were saying that if anyone's going to step up to find them a way in, it was going to be our. And this is it. He takes the fight, and it's against Carrigan. So this is very telling. Traditionally, the Bianchi, you know that Twist could likely be their aura set up with Brokey on the AWP. But they push their luck over towards B, and yeah, even Art on the double up, avenging his fallen teammate of Yuri there. So great stuff from Art. Those are the rounds we've come to expect from him, leading the score charts for his team. Six frags. To the in-game leader. Bomb goes off, third round posted. And yeah, this is feeling a bit more like a tug of war, right? In the first half of map number one, it was feeling like one-way traffic for the Furia boys. But very serious look on Art's face here. Lots of work to do if they want to get this one to the third. You know that Nuke will be the third map decider of this. And well, they look great on Nuke yesterday. Furia, some great scenes out of the likes of Yuri. They were shutting down that top site, him and Kay Serato. Yeah, I mean, I quite greedily want Nuke just to see how Fury Affair versus a FaZe Clan Nuke. Obviously, Enzo and his team to try not to be trifled with either. Enzo in the grand finals. Safe gets out. Oh, uh, Rain, I do love this aggressive stance towards Palace. It's not going to get him anything. But it's... Uh, a confident one nonetheless. If it is that A execute that they fell foul to earlier as well, then him being up close and personal might get him a, a kill or two. Whereas before you could see how disconnected he was, he was having to transition behind those smokes. But this is a similar round out of Furia. They are retooling back towards A. Art, what's the timing on this underpass lurk? Yeah, not going to be checking it actively. I say that Robs is staring at him. There's no way. He's ready to play. Baits it with the fingertips. We'll have to be responsible. Oh, never mind. Run into Rops and out duel him. Mouse at the top of his mouse pad. Still fragging. Caserato gets down rain. And just like that, the A site tumbles into disarray. Twists back against the wall. Two players crossing into his site. He's smoked off. Just looks away. His art gets some bullets down range. 19 HP for him. This could go wrong, though. Faze get another. Brokey catching Yuri after the plant. Yeah, but Kesarado is still here towards jungle and they're not ready for drop. He should get the kill onto Twist. The trade there from Carrigan, two on oh, two. This is intense. Kesarato and safe. Kesarato might go overlooked here. Brokey was just in this position. Carrigan. Oh my God, he dinks him. So many ifs and buts, but safe posted. Will secure it. Four for Fury and you can hear what it means to them. That was really hanging on 10 to hooks financially. This tug of war you discussed, they've been trading blows in pairs. Two to Furia, two in response from FaZe, and now another two inscribed on the board. And this was a crazy one from Wasn't Arthur. it? Why did you go for this? Yeah, and he's just swung out on the vertical <sighs> right there. So great stuff to be able to pick up the opener. That's two consecutive rounds from Art finding a way in for the team and safe. I know it's a little bit ironic here, but always seems to hold a safe line and gets that necessary kill right. That's what you want from your AWPers. If you're locking down an angle like that, you need to be hitting those shots. Run boost out mid. This time, a bit more pep in the step of Furia towards the mid corridor. He's trying to give him the Furia treatment. Rops is whipping out a Mag-7 and throwing in some aggression. Maybe they get caught out by a taste of their own medicine drop. Responsible for this. I might come and clear from mid here. That would be gangster. Twists on the jiggle. He is sprayed down. Rob sitting dark. Art not falling foul to any of that funny business. Has got two. 
another art round. And that's the thing. If he needs to step up and get the entries, then it, that's the way it has to be. There's no way around it here. Art understands, and this is against a lighter buy, so obviously a little bit more aggression. Deagle from Rain noted. Okay, Serato's going to come out of the palace position. Where's he gone, he wonders? Found him. And that is going to be the round. So one round game right now. Six to five as Brokey, the last man standing. I'm curious if we see a change up from face, if they get an AWP in an extremity, if they play over towards the B apps or they go for a double A ramp push because it's been rinse and repeat, a lot of this mid-centric defense with a lot of bodies scattered from shore, window, and connector. There's the final frag, all five staying alive. Beautiful stuff from Furia now. Yeah, I mean, you can see that FaZe have clearly got an incentive or a directive to make sure that they hold on to middle. Three-man mid setups more common than we normally see on a CT side. But I mean, you're not you're not going to anticipate Rops losing that duel to Art in that way ever again. No, it's very telling as well when Art spots the player up there because you're not going to play in that position if you Rops if you don't have backup. Well, unless you're crazy, right? Uh, which you never know. You, you could be a little bit out there. So it's very telling with that initial duel that's found. But this needs to be a difference maker for Phase. Wow, that's an aggressive orb if ever I saw one. Safe versus Brokey in the underpass, and Safe ready for it. That's a very expensive opening death. Brokey tucked in. In the opening 20 seconds, Rops will take top mid. You gotta be feel pretty rough right now if you face, because you're giving away four consecutive rounds with four opening kills, right? Well, this would be the fourth if the conversion follows through here from Furia, but how do they change the tune? Rops' aggressive position will likely go underlooked. But again, it feels very strung out. If Furia wanted to target either site with the lion's share of their forces, they should be able to convert here towards A. It's just rain. Twist will try and chip in from connector. Carrigan gravitating away from B into the marketplace. Mm. And there's still enough utility for a, a pretty good execute on towards A. It might have to be something gambly out of phase here. Oh, it's coming middle. So Rops, the, all of this patience may be rewarded. There's two of them here. Rops can swing the round if he gets this right. If he gets this right. He's going to take a look. He's so focused on underpass. Will he be cleared? Neither of them cleared. Neither of them cleared. Robs is going to swing it. Stabilize the aim. Oh, okay, no, no, no. drop it just in time. It's not the kill. It's not the double. They stacked, eh? They made the right call here. And they're in the right place for the spray. Rain delivers. Nice from Caserato, but Carrigan is there, and it looks good. FaZe, deal with it. An opening kill, but not a round converted. Furia scratching their heads after this one. Yeah, so first time they get that opening kill in this slew of four and not able to convert off the back of it. And you have to look at Rops, right? He doesn't get the double kill, but he gets the jump on them and then it forces their hand and Carrigan with the call to stack over towards A. They trade out efficiently. They get the round posted. It wasn't an easy one to post by any means. And they might, oh, no, I was going to say, might not get this all back. Looks like Carrigan is going to get there in time, picks it on up and saves that for his boy Brokey. But FaZe will get to seven. They break the spell. Wow. It seems like, yeah, they really do checking in and immediately getting that AWP from Brokey back into an aggressive... Ooh, changed his mind. Was opting to they try and get short. Him, they can yeah. boost him, that's for yeah. sure. Now, it is going to be a big exec here, Alex, by the looks of things. So Art's going to try and make it feel familiar, but Brokey, with his short presence, is going to be able to viably help Oof. quickly. Bags in there. Know. Now they know. Yeah, just the tip was spotted. They're executing B, they're already Serato's in. Serato's just charging. B lines into the site, takes down Brokey. The flash is so good, he's still alive for a moment longer. Carrigan is there. On an island, though. Smoke to defend himself, try and reposition, keep him guessing. Four on four, Carrigan changes that, is kept level, and drop doubles up. Highly impactful, the next closest is Twists. Hoping to find something through the smoke. Bomb is down on the ground, yet to be planted. Look at the finances right now for FaZe. If they risk going for this, they'll have nothing going forward. The loss bonus 1,900 into the next. The economy for both teams is in a pretty miserable spot, but there's more in the bank balance here. Four Fury are into the next. Bomb goes down. Rops has taken some space here. If he can get oh. anything. Oh. If. <laughs> oh, it's a big if in capitals. No less. That is the end of that. Yeah, this is fantastic work right there. Carrigan gets isolated. He was on an island. That position of Brokey. The fact that he gets dealt with first. He's the first responder to try and help out that B bomb site. So the tag onto Art. Well, it doesn't come back to haunt them in any way, but the conversion would have been nice. It would have made this one a more likely scenario on the retake and a pair of frags there from drop that come with impact. Furia up to six. And this is a tussle. It's not a tussle in terms of a crazy fight, not going toe to toe, not standing doing the aim duels, but in terms of maneuvering across the map, Furia doing a good job of piecing this one together. 
And this is the question right now for FaZe. They get 2,400 into the next round. So do you force buy behind the saved M4 a twist? Do you take the eco and the next round you get something that is a little bit juicier? Should be M4s across the board, maybe an MP9 scattered on in. That means that you're going to have uh, a round right. Oh, actually, hold up. Carrigan, he's bought into a scout here. So uh, not a full investment from Carrigan by any means, but a hefty one, knowing yeah. that the loss bonus is not going to get him everything he wants. But he did have a couple of nice scout rounds yesterday. I suppose if he could tag a couple... You can count on Twist to finish the job. Art's already up cat. Like, real far up cat. Yeah, and just standing there. Drop, open up the gone. site, and it's only the dig of Rain that can try as hard as he might to defend the ace site. Carrigan onto Palace, trying his luck in case Arato does catch Flak. Tagged. Yet to be body bagged. Carrigan looking for more tags, trying to lay his life on the line in pursuit of that. Softening him up for these pistols. Could fall back to B still if they wanted to. They don't have to commit A right now. You know Rain and Carrigan last seen A. Brokey the only one you haven't accounted for. Keserato gifted the AWP low HP. And Art. Oh, there he is. Found Carrigan. It is really running out of options now. That scout no longer in play. Rain's Deagle is sharp. Watch out for this one. And the bomb still ramp. Fury cannot afford to let this slip. They cannot overthink it. It is just pistols. I say that as Brokey will take the rifle. Oh, they've gotten away. And just they know the where Art is now as well. So if Rain can make his way quickly over towards the B bomb site, he can cut the bottom off here. I don't know if Art heard him. Nice moves. Both two going towards underpass. Oh, did they fake the steps loudly intentionally here? It's not gonna matter. Oh, he checks them. Doesn't finish the job. No, I'd expect them both. And there's more for Rain's Deagle, maybe. Damage finished off by Brokey. A 1v2 though, and now the bomb has safely made it to B. Nothing to lose, everything to gain, Brokey. Trying his luck at the impossible clutch. Caserato low, but it's a hard clear. Near impossible as he does walk out. And whew, first bullet's his, but not onto the head. Safe is going to keep it safe and sound. Seven to seven. Trading blows, but it does look like they've got a big leg up into this final round of play. Yeah, might even win out the half here. Now, the buy does come through. M4s for four, just going to be the MP9 for Carrigan there. And the roughest death here is Twist going down first to drop because he was the one with the silenced M4. Couldn't get too much done with that at all. Rain makes it interesting. Adds a bit of spice to the mix right here. And I thought that there was either two things that happened there. They made the underpass steps to try and force them to go back to A, right? Because that's pretty common these days. Or they were like, well, let's just go save the AKs. Let's go get you an AK as well. And let's hold on to these to take forward. But it doesn't matter. 7-7, seven, seven, round 15 now in play. Oh, good flash. Yeah, completely caught Robs, but didn't peek on it. At least might deter an aggressive ramp hold, but no, he seems to be returning to it. It's been quite the game, really. It hasn't been anything too direct early. It's just been about Fury abiding their time, using patience as a virtue. And as they continue to stall things out, Fury are just going through the paces, making sure they're not getting pushed anywhere. They're happy just to sit on back, drop passively B. You saw the pack over towards A. Art's been parked up in mid this entire time. Nobody overstepping. This is a very unusual looking game of Counter-Strike here. What a contrast from the early mid holds. Art's just allowed to walk through. Dry. One smoke. And this is an angle. Art will be prepared. Oh, <laughs> Lordy takes down Brokey and he knows where Twist is too. That's a defensive smoke, but it doesn't stop the frag. Huge impact from Art and safety for caught off Robs. An eighth seems imminent. It's only rain. Bomb can go towards B. He's juking out with Keserato and costs him most of his health. Hang on, Art. Unless Rain is really well drilled, should have this dead to rise. Both low and that's of their seven. Oosh. So, uh, yeah, a lot of traction done for them early. Let's see if they can get both pistol rounds here. As... Look at that reactive CT linger. Yeah, we saw them do this yesterday as well. One expert odds are favoring the FaZe Clan still. Now, Kagan lining up a smoke here. Rops top mid, twists over towards the palace position and the bomb on Rain as they go through the underpass. Smoke sounds through the sky, smokes off towards connector and... Looking to just slink on up through that open corridor right now. Art reactively with a molly in hand, but that's the wrong Baited call. Him. They've rotated it over significantly here. Oh, bait, bitten, hook in the cheek, and a fight for Yuri. Bomb a big spotted. one, bomb spews out of Rain's body, and Yuri deletes a second. Worst case scenario. It could not have gone worse. Palace presence noted. 
Rops perhaps can be the difference maker. Art's not going to consider this. Not at all, given the circumstance. And Carrigan, long range on the Glock, deletes one from nice. B. Rops, loud, doesn't matter. Art doesn't hear a thing. Didn't click, and this he is didn't crazy. drop. The bomb's under CT control, but now we've got a 3v3. This is backwards. They have to try and take retake the bomb. Not the bomb site, the bomb. It's a jungle retake for the T's. Yeah, but they're all disconnected from each other now. Carrigan, I think he wants to regroup with Rops now over towards Cat and twist through the apartment's position can come late. The incendiary, it could be perfect here. It's going to spew all the way back. Rops has only cleared out close, but they know where drop is. Time a problem now. Oh, Yuri can get his third here. Doesn't finish his meal. Does eventually. Carrigan's gone. Swiss hasn't left Palace this whole time. And now, oh, Twist, long range on the clock. He is doing damage with that. Up on the pedestal, Keserato's good for it. Rops is demanded to clutch. Quick. He has an armored P250. He does have time against him. He has to try and find that T. He's just not going to clear it. Swung on. Oh, a chance. Keserato will connect. And so a ninth. Furia will take that pistol. Uh, as I said, couldn't have gone worse or couldn't have gone better because that was a full rotation from Furia over towards the B bomb site. It was just Yuri hanging around in jungle. And the fact he gets both kills and the bomb gets thrust that far forward is huge. It is perfect. And, and yeah, look, it gets a little bit crazy. It gets a little bit out of control. But uh, they're able to mop this one up. And Casey right here with the final two necessary kills to get them across the line. Nine to seven, Whoa. the score now reads. And just some pistols for FaZe. It won't be the full-on force. A deagle for Romps, a P250 in the hands of Twists. And this is likely to be the double digits for the Brazilians here early. It'll be difficult for FaZe if you ca caught that interview. Carrigan remarked that uh, he banned Mirage for in the first phase for one of the one of the first times in his career. His so career. Uh, he was able to get away with that because of the map pool overlap that they have with Na'Vi. Both teams not playing Vertigo. He's able to float that uh, that ban and knowing that Vertigo, Vertigo was going to get taken out of the pool. It's always been the case with Na'Vi teams, hasn't it? You can play a different veto game. Historically, it was cash. It was Nuke there for a while as well, and now they're one of the best Nuke teams in the world. So, uh, yeah, look, uh, it's chopped and changed over the years over there, but now Vertigo is the one that they're not in love with. I think it was, you don't need to love them all. It was Snappy or someone in an interview recently said it's crazy to try and play seven maps. Yeah, some teams even, like, like Astralis, for example, showed all seven throughout Pro League, right? It, it's kind of crazy. It makes you very flexible in the veto if you want to try and punish a lot and remove a team's strength. But hold up, this is heating up. The two oh. purchased pistols are doing some damage oh. and more. What is going on with these pistols? Rain gets two or one and a dink. Rob's builds off of that. Rookie can plant. He can get a bomb plant out of this. And if Art doesn't again, check him. Two for two. Two for two. Art again caught out from the ladder room. And FaZe on nothing invested are just one frag away. Kit spotted on short. Keserato doesn't have one. Oh. Rookie just has a Glock here. He needs to play info. Need info and survive. And oh, he survives. That's info for Rops to work with now. Yeah, they can work on this build on this. Keserato has to save them from a very red face. How did this spiral? Keserato wandering the same. It's impossible to find them. The smoke on the bomb will force some weird engagements. Save. But already there's no time with no kit. Glocks. A deagle. Nothing to report. Keserato has to walk away. FaZe Clan. Outrageous. As they take a second round conversion away from the Furious stats. And an M4. Rops, a criminal, getting away with a rifle as well. That oh. is an insane round. And we were already talking about Furia and the round win conversions after the pistols. They, they were fantastic in that. So dropping the ball here. And it just came through the, the, the light buy, right? It was $1,000 invested. So Twist gets one with the P250. Rops just absolutely ripping the head off there. And this is it. You're right. Art's been caught out twice by that position in consecutive rounds. What a round to win. That is crazy. FaZe propelling themselves back into this immediately here. Fury are forced by a back to fight against it. Oh boy, oh boy. This is where you can see that downward spiral begin. Aggressive Spotted. maneuver. That's the rifle. That was and that is boost. the rifle. They fail the boost. Molotov, Dov, the smoke, the spray is coming. Robs chooses not to engage, not to spray. Two of them down there. They're caged. Rain is all the way back at TV right now. So if they want to push forward, it's going to be super difficult. Big and Rops is taking big space. Gap. Yeah, this is smart from Rops. He knows they're otherwise inclined. Big duel for the Mag 7. Swings. And swings out, does collect. And now it's Rain tested on TV. Back they go. 2T spawn. Twist does take an engagement. Gets tagged up by the scout. Yuri's still around and out and about with that M4. Two in play. Oh. He does behead Twists. Fiori are looking to jostle for control again. 
Couple of steps in the right direction. Safe, tested on that scout, has to live. His life valuable, more than that tag would be. Oh, on the stairs with a shotgun. How does he build anything out of this position with that gun? A bit of a damage done, 12 HP, and now another scout tag. They're running out of health. They're running out of hope. K Serato's taken down Carrigan. A 4v2. Furia looking to return the favor. One right back. Brokey and Rain, they're just so low. Any of these weapons will work, scout included. Rain down, and they do take the round. Four alive. Wow, Whew, the back and forth nature of these last two has been crazy. That Actually, all three rounds so far in this second half has been crazy. You think that Rops has the advantage right there, but there's still two of them over towards the window position. He gets caught between the vent fight, Yuri swings on out, the rifle gets thrown on over, and then with that rifle, it's a massive shot towards Swiss on ramp. So this is it, right? Swinging on through draws the attention. This is a perfect replay to show you exactly the bait that's gone on on. And then the M4 profits with another. So huge stuff from Yuri there, and a great round because Furia with some head armor and a smoke. So how far can FaZe push the issue here on a light buy once more? So Robs and Carrigan dispatch towards A while this three-man Deagle pack try and work the apps. Drop Therefore is now drop. actively contesting. I mean, if any of these players on FaZe can hit that one bang. If he pushes too far and gives this over, drama is similar to how Rops did in the last, but tucking on in is nice now against the pistols. It's going to be a hard clear. Rops forward looking for something. Yeah, he's going for a real hero maneuver. Yuri's not going to be expecting that, but safe is. Catches in before damage can be done. This is that drop commitment. He needs to. And leaves with one only. Bomb spotted. It's up to Art to save the round. Looks good on the first. Brokey would rather fight and focus on retrieval of that bomb. In fact, dipping into the site. He's ready for safe. He's ready for that angle. Not for Yuri, though. Working in unison, working in tandem beautifully. It's just Carrigan up short, hanging out with his P250. And this will be an 11th. That was great there, and uh, safe to get that kill. I think he dropped that smoke that was highlighted by that Mahone piece. If you guys were here for the early part of the show, you would have seen that, the way that safe can manufacture picks on the CTNT side. Dropped that smoke, was able to pick up uh, Rops pushing through towards the top ticket. And, and that was a light investment. I know they had the AK, right? But they were just trying to see how much damage they could do. Now the full buy will come out from phase and it's not pretty, right? The Carrigan and Rain are lacking utility. The rest are into rifles with something to work with, but Fuhrer on the other side of things are now rocking a double AWP set up here. This is really going to start to hurt for phase now. Scoring 11 to eight. Fury need this to take us to the third map. Extinguish. Pulls the gap here. Yeah. Not going to get him anything initially. Does force perhaps the smoke out of range. I a don't bit think it's going to spread to the left. And that's a key piece of utility for Rain to hold on to, right? He couldn't invest a lot, so the fact that he doesn't have to burn that smoke there is massive. Three smokes remaining for phase. It could have been two. The smallest differences, huh? Next to smoke from Brokey there. Rain can drop a window smoke from the top mid box as well if he likes, but not thrown out just yet. There it is. Well timed. Just as the flash came out for the peak of safe, doesn't even engage. Three through mid. It's an ace split here. Yuri lingering anti just upon that smoke's fade and it's for Rain's maneuver that he's waiting for. They're all there. They're all there and he starts to unload upon the fade. Takes two of the three. Nice from Twist. Very sharp shooting, but it leaves Carrigan. They know K Serato's there. Dark to be cleared. Drop posted though and does catch the on the elevation. 12 for Furia and a double orb save. It couldn't be looking any better. That's three in a row from them. And FaZe in the financial woes. In the throes of, what, 3k at the high end, 2.4 on the low. Yeah, this is rough now. A, a very difficult half to be able to operate from. You can see that connect throw smoke getting thrown on now. Now, uh, Yuri was prepared because we know that teams like the smoke gimmick where you come and play in the fade and you have one watching towards the stairs, one watching towards the jungle position. Well, he's able to get multi-kill from there. Kesaro does a good job too. And the pistols are out again. We might want to give him a little bit more respect on their name considering that's the only type around phase have to boast here on the T half. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh, Ray, nice jump away does completely leave unscathed. He took some room though, and that's good because right now the rest of the phase players are over towards B. Carrigan having a look on in and well, Arts dropped a defensive nade so he can position himself for a fight. Molly as well, and now the jump on up behind this. So the AWP will retain some info over towards B, but meanwhile, look at this, like the pendulum that swings phase have made their way top mid, so continuing to try and worm through any space they can, AWP noted. Yeah, in the gap now. 
It's only Yuri they have to trifle with. Silence falls. Faze pours. And Furia do too. They're not going to succumb to any of this. Not initially. Be split here. They know that there's an AWP on B. So if they can get up Cat and get past the AWP player, there's a chance. Yuri spotted this now. Yeah, and he's going to adapt. Art fires off a shot. Two orbs in play. Don't forget that Rain, or rather Rob's tagged up heavy. Rain has actually broken into A a little bit. Taken Forced the space. rotation. Okay, Serato is still posted up. And, oh, good shot out of Twist, but doesn't kill him. Rain will finish off the job, but it's just not enough. A threatening round, all things considered. Drops into the kitchen, hoping for another frag. And he's been loud about this, so Drop should have... Rod Drop, get that knife out of your hand, young man. He's been punished for that. But that's all. 13. Fury, they've, they've, they've been close before. Very cheeky to go for a knife in that type of environment. Uh, I, I like it. I like it. The kid's got some cojones on him right there. <laughs> so uh, does. not afraid to go for a little maneuver like this, but just shows a bit of hand. And Rob goes, all right, well, I'll take them. I'll take both of them. I like those gloves. Give me... And he gets traded on out on the way through. But the buy now for FaZe is they are running out of rounds 13 to 8. Look, the comeback they had on the CT side, that was something completely different. This is the T side now. And so far, no real rounds that have been of note. Nearly the full lockout in response. And Art goes aggressive. Oh, can't track him. Rain leaping down from the smoke into the biff and takes down the South American Orpa. That's an opener to work with now. They can't give one back here, FaZe, for free. Carrigan needs to be very careful with this duel towards drop on B, and they're so strung out. Look at the radar. Nobody from FaZe really close to a buddy right now. I like the initiative out of Keiserato. He's actually surged forward into the ramp, and we will be holding that. Twist not going to be too threatened by the nade. It's a gamble stack on B. Safe and Yuri are now heading over towards the B bomb site to back up drop, and they're going to leave Keiserato in this wild card position. If they go connector or palace towards A, Keiserato can be behind them to stall this out, but if they continue forward and they split this B bomb site, this gamble stack is perfect. And That's they're gonna boost Yuri up. If Carrigan doesn't get a feel for this boost, or rather for this stack. You wanna let him in now. You wanna let him in, they're coming. Say fires off a shot, they surge forward. They committed. Try and punish the orb, they're coming into the stack. They're coming in thick and fast. Rain did clear Yuri. Safe is dead and the round looks phase all over. Keiserato the only one left and he was the Sleeper agent on A. Well, that kill onto Yuri was everything, wasn't it? I can't it? believe Range clears it first. That's the first kill of their take. Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> that is wild that they're able to get away with that because you think there's going to be some big problems. Case Serato throwing a bit of a fake smoke there. We'll see if Rops can work out the trajectory of that one. Lands over towards the connector position. Is he actually going to give this one a look? He's... I was creeping ever closer, but Carrigan has his position cottoned off. And while well, phase, they'll strike, they'll get themselves on the board and really through the heroics of Rain. Rain takes down Art towards middle, then clears out the sleeper agent of Yuri on the B bomb site, and the rest of the kills start to fall in their favor. And speaking of Rain, 18 frags for him, 17 for twists. You've got 15 for Rops. Rops oh. might find himself another one just here if he isn't careful. I think it looks like a 16th. Oh, <laughs> neither of them looking the right way. It does go his way. All right, well, whoever wins out uh, this series here will be taking on Ent in that best of five grand final. And all three of these teams, in case you missed the memo, have come through Group B. Now, only three teams from each group could make it this far. And this is the last dreams as the AWP is in the hands of safe. So you two early towards A. It's a decoy Rops is throwing. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. It lands towards jungle. Could just be extra nade in the sky here to... Sell it. Like there's more Yuto to try and... Yeah, exactly. So they're Yuto dump thinking it's a fast execute. And now it's just noisy and a bit annoying because they are dropped in the connector and jungle position. So... Oh, imagine we get to the point where it's to mask the footsteps. Come on now. All right. Round 23. Strap in, folks. Everyone still alive after the initial excursions. Brokey run boosted into mid and got a lot of room to stretch his legs. Twist joins him through the underpass and still no contact. It is wild how much these teams were giving away mid space, but Yuri's playing behind this top mid smoke. Oh, that's Ooh, smoke. That hit him, that yeah. hit him. Indicative of position. Keiserato, he's got so much on his plate now. They're swinging through and he's been caught out. Twist with a huge opener. It's up to safe now and he's got a lot of company straight through the box. Rain strikes and they need something back. Yuri through the smoke does inflict some damage. Nah, trying his luck with the MP9. It's not to be. FaZe will accelerate and propel themselves to 10. 
That looks desperate from out there, but it has to be as the MP9. If he gets a kill, they might want to consider this retake. But now that it's not, it's about holding onto the guns. And Rain is chasing. He is surging forward. He's heard the steps, and he even sees where Yuri's going in the head. Spotted and gone. Rain, what a <laughs> shot onto Yuri. He's hunted him down. He's got the Deer Stalker on, the high vis. And drop this time bites back. That is uh, quite the way to pick things up from FaZe. Okay, well, this is two consecutive now. Maybe with three or four and the, clo the score closing, right? Furia can remember what happened to them last map. And this is where the echoes, that mental game, might start to rattle on through. What do we need to do to close? Art in the first half was 5-0 and in terms of opening exchanges. He did his job. Now it's on the CT side. This is where we look towards the AWP player safe with a nice kill here. And, and K, Serato and Yuri as these turrets, as these anchors to lock down the sights when the Marauders, like Twists, are coming on through and hitting some absolute bangers. Bart and Eco now from Furia, and all they have is that AK in the hands of Drop. He's going to use that with the kit. Everybody else onto USPs. Lost bonus into the next 2400. So that comeback very likely now, and frustrations there for Yuri. Yeah, that was just frustrated. He could bring a rifle in with Drop. See what FaZe could do with just pistols. Now we see if what Drop can do with a saved rifle. He might go down immediately. Twists catches him. Art oh, just trying to keep hold of the rifle, but surely Carrigan is. Getting very excited that he knows the, where the only saved rifle resides. And so they do start their progressions up eight. The worst case is P250s, Deagles, USPs. It's actually just USPs. Yeah, shouldn't be too many worries right here. They're, they're reboosting the AK up towards middle, but during all of this, they're crawling into A. Twist, if he's careful. Oh, I think he's heard some of this too here, you know. Rain will get one, Twist will get the other, and they've mopped up the mess. So this right now is phase into 11 rounds of play, safe and Yuri. Backpedaling to the other side of the map here as FaZe waltz on in. An open door, the bomb goes down, and this is looking great now as the T-side economy is being established. A little bit of residual cash, especially if everybody stays alive. And if it's two comebacks from FaZe, this, this would be fantastic, especially for their mental, knowing if they are down in the dumps, if things aren't going their way, just stick to it, grind through. Rain showing up with another very good performance here. Him and Twist, 21 kills apiece. Yeah, taking a look at those opening kill stats as well, it is Twist and Rain starting to get some through for FaZe. We just witnessed one, admittedly. It was onto the only save rifle. Yeah, Brokey's had a bit of a hard game, hasn't he? Uh, he's stomached a lot of opening deaths. Uh, most of those coming in the first half, he's currently sitting at 0 and 5. And, oh, there you go. There's some Brokey quickie orb action. Ops will get the last. And, and that's the thing, if your orb is not being able to find his space, not being able to find his kills, well, you're a team like FaZe, you have riflers who can do exactly that for you. Two rounds of difference now. But if FaZe have a crazy CT comeback on Inferno and then proceed to do the same but on the T side, it's a different ball game, Chad. I mean, I would assume it's a different ball game to do uh, a long, slew, double-digit comeback over on the T side. Yeah, this is because they're going to require so many different looks, right? And all it's going to take is one multi-kill round from one of the Furia players to potentially shut you out. So you have to keep it clean. We've seen this from Art before. If he jumps up, he'll see nothing. Rain could flash and then Carrigan could go. It's all going to come down to the timing here. Nobody towards underpass. It's looking like FaZe want to try and edge their way onto A. Art's been held at bay. Completely. He's dismounted. Trying to play around these smokes. Try and get anything going. And a little bit of nade damage is a start. Rain looks really set in his ways, though. One to be feared and safe. Glass cannon on this. Needs the frag. And Rain, as we discussed, is one to be feared. He's up connector. Draws blood. Oh. Hey, Serato executed as well on the default box. FaZe are doing it on the T side. You have to save. Don't throw these rifles away, Fury. You're not done yet. You're not done yet. If you give everything over right now, you're going to be in a worse oh. position. And another kill back. Carrigan onto R. Another rifle falls and the hunt's coming. Rain's looking. He hasn't had enough. Yeah, he is hungry. They could even wallbang it. Drop is there. Trying to hold did on. Bang it. And he's so low. Yuri and Drop, but the same two candidates that were trying to save before. Drop holds on. It's not done yet. Still time on that bomb. Yuri's going to make it in through window here. He might be able to grab this AWP. Oh, Drop loses his rifle. Yuri trying to hide in plain sight. Drops is aware of this. He wouldn't, though. Twist with his knife out, and that's an easy one. Robs will take it. The AWP thrown a little further away, but picked up nonetheless. Wow, Rain with another opener, and it's a it's a dry swing. It's a dry swing onto an AWP here. You can't be missing these if you're safe, right? And I know it's difficult. You don't know when the fight's coming, but this is the thing. You can't be missing those type of openers, and they're punished for it immediately. 
not even being able to save. You see the wall bang there onto Yuri with the AWP. They didn't know he was there, but they're able to do that damage. They take them away and they wipe them out. Art into a hero M4. And when the team needs him, Art steps up. Oh, that's asking a lot of him though, isn't it? Drop has dropped it. And Rops oh, has dropped Art. Him. Oh my Lord, AKVM4, a dink exchange. And it just gets worse from there. Furia now are going to have their head in their hands if they cannot convert. They, this is too familiar. Two maps in a row. They've been sat on leads. It was an 8 7 half. Okay, serrado has got one back here. Safe's pushing a Palmer's twist. Looking the wrong way. We need a double dink and only gets the one. But it is Yuri and K. Serrado. The Fangs of Furia would have to take something quite exceptional to make round 26 a 14th. Rops is looking in towards B right now, and he should get into the bomb site for free. But him and Twist are oh so low. 27 points of health between the two of them. It's Rain and Brokey, the healthy members of all of this. And Brokey's actually starting to look over towards A with the AWP. Rops finds nothing on his B sweep. Yeah, this is being heard now, though. Yeah, you already knows. Rain's going to run in on his own, and he's one of the healthy members. If he could just hit that one deep, but already safe. Yuri's creeping on up. Plant, you... No one's close to him, Alex. No one's close to him at all. Oh, the chance. Squandered. And Rain will secure the round. Phase, take it. But I can see what you were building, Chad. There was genuine problems if Rain immediately goes down. Twist so low, miles away. Rops was already on his journey towards A. If Rops... Oh, I was going to say, sorry. If Brokey jumps up, he might catch the barrel of Queserado here. But this has been so silent, and they've taken so much space and so many liberties. They really are looking to take this M4 out of the picture. Now it's max loss bonus into the next. It's not going to matter too oh, much. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Just like that, hunted down. They are not leaving any crumbs for Furia to piece together something. Phase, they turn four straight over towards A. This might be quick. Oh, if it's a waterfall out of the palace, it's the worst for an AWPA to deal with. Rain's going to kick up a fuss in mid, strafing through. Ah. Oh. Misses his shot. He's chased him down in the smoke. Art oh, needs the no-scope and pulls it off, puts it into the barrel. Or rather, the belly. They're flooding out. Need another frag now. Art oh, does deliver on this secondary orb. K Serato as well bucks the trend, but it's all Art. First on the T side. Now he takes matters into his own hands and looking to leave with four. It's just Rops. Wow, strafes out onto him. Saves his next victim, doesn't allow it. The other orb needs to be scooped up. We want Art back on that. 14 for Furia, courtesy of their leader. Oh, they either couldn't find it there. He looks a little bit dejected and disappointed there. Uh, they didn't get that secondary AWP back and they won't be able to afford one for him, I don't think. Oh, man. So the fact that he puts his, ha his hands on his head like that, either he's, you know, he's stressed that he has to do this for them to win a round, or he's a bit disappointed they didn't get him that secondary AWP back because that was all, all art. This is all for getting straight in towards the ramp. They're charging into safe in case Serato. Good nade damage. They're out. Safe calls it. We need Kei Serato to come online. He's always been in dark. Sandwich clear. Carrigan knows where Kei Serato resides. The flames will arrive. Kei Serato's got one. Surely Nerdan Gyuri's got rain as well. Hiding in plain sight. The smoke is up. Rops out Palace. Look at their health. They are so low. The nades have come in. Barraging them with util. Bomb loose as the frags do exchange, but just twist now and oh. he's gone too. It's safe's turn on the shutdown. And just like that, you blink and you miss it. Fury are strung together two of their own. Yeah, and in those two rounds, they get the opening kill, right? Art does it over towards connector against Rain in the previous, and this time round, it's Kei Serato delivering. He is under a barrage. Yuri steps on out, grabs them another here, and then orping around the defensive smoke. Safe looking great onto twist with the final shot. Money not broken yet for FaZe. They can buy on back, but now we've got a game. 15 to 13, Furia. One away from closing on their map choice. Nuke looms. Starting to believe it themselves now. That was rattling from FaZe. And two is all they need to secure that overtime. Well, FaZe went for something a little bit quicker out the gates in the previous two. Now they're going back to what worked. More of this default spread, taking the top spin off the rounds. Allowing the pace to come their way. Any moves from Furia will be noted. Rops on the extremity. Brokey looking for an AWP pick over towards B. And while well, the rest of them will be burrowing down towards mid. Rain already with his top mid control. Kagan can go and smoke off connector. Rain can smoke window. We've seen this one before. And no one's there to address initial mid presence. Standard flow chart for mid control. Window smoked. Start their crawl. A little bit of nade damage successful, but they are starting to pincer into Yuri and drop. 
even an aggressive boost to peek into the site. This can go wrong very quickly. Here they come. Twists out into the cross, says drop, does not finish his fight. Yuri has to do it for him, and he's lost art immediately upon arrival. They know Yuri's here. Carrigan pre-fires the peak and another high-impact round from the leader. He's to save. They need to hold on to these again. But FaZe have been so good in the chases, do they want to do it now? They don't have the same bank balance to go for as they did in the previous. But that's massive right there, and it's an opening again. The fact that the drop doesn't get the first kill on the way in, the trades fall in the favor of FaZe. Carrigan with the double up seals the deal, closes it down, and... Well, Furia, they need to hold on to this AWP, this AK. The next round, the loss bonus 2400 either way, but that's going to help out the Brazilians here. And this is Twists. Massive work from him there. Drop shoots first, but nothing lethal. And Carrigan, the first and the second here to seal that deal. Beautiful Barrel. stuff. Yeah, Yuri just gives him the information he needs to find that frag cleanly. They're not going to over push the mark here. Carrigan's just going to chill towards jungle, the rest of them over towards the short position. So everybody getting to hold on to their goodies. K Serata can drop safe the same. Now, safe has enough to drop out that secondary AWP. So if Art wants it, now would be the moment. Art can drop an M4, they can get that in the hands. And well, there is a conversation being had right now. Remember, no timeouts left for Furia. Yeah, it's not going to be the AWP. He actually takes the org. So Interesting. Maybe that will enable him to do something uh, similar. They have plenty of kits here, Alex. Look at this. Four kits. Head armor for everybody. Plenty of util. This is the chance for Fury to close it in regulation. Otherwise, we go OT. Well, we have the OT in our second map of this second semi-final. Orc and Fury are secure nuke now. Aggression immediately seems to be the option. Art to tuck in. Safe. We saw this from the Mahone video, but they double it up. And Twist is considering it. Carrigan could flash four and Broke. He's going to be cocking some util towards the A site with no commitment behind it. How long do they stay here in underpass? Do, do they commit to this for the whole round? Because this could be the difference maker right here. Such a standoff right now. Oh, Art is moving. Twist has been waiting this whole time. And now they're going to meet. They will, and Art pulls the trigger. Twist caught out completely. And the openers have been the key. Art smokes it, but Carrigan actually moving towards it. And he's ready. Right over. He gave it back. He really gave it back. The 5v4 squandered. And back to a level pegging, 60 seconds, OT. Four frags away from FaZe. And Carrigan corrals the troops towards A. Fury and none the wiser. Missed his window smoke, but here they come. serato has got it all to do. He's not in dark this time. Safe and sound. Yuri's not, though. An overextension. FaZe doing it. It's up to K Serato now, and he's been met by Brokey's Orb. It's only safe. One is not enough, and we're off to overtime. This to their defense. Double Orbs are out. Art was integral to them posting and even securing the OT with 15. Yeah, he tried to take this game into his own hands, did Ola, and sure, he was able to breathe some light into the team, but uh, unable to get him across the line. One X bet odds are still favoring FaZe Clan here. I think Art was just keen to get this one back underway with some of the chat going on before we cut into overtime. Sound cube made, and maybe that's enough. Silly being lobbed out towards A, trying to force a reaction here, trying to keep them moving. And Art still has mid control this entire time. So a late window smoke from Carrigan isn't going to net them too much as far as info goes. Art is taking on so much responsibility. Whoa, 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 Hold up whoa, a second. Whoa, Rops is just caught. Okay, Serato down the ladder. Full secret agent. Yuri has at least clawed it back immediately, and they are going to cancel. No commitment behind that. Rain's trying to work on a fight towards B here. If he finds drop, oh, we can't. Just through the smoke. Drop gets the better of him this time round. And 3v4 situation with that Rops opener. His left phase floundering. Another exception. Rops goes above and beyond to find an opening. And now they're facing a man discrepancy. Still got 40 seconds. They're grouping up for the B hit. Art is there. They have to hit some bangers here because Art's just going to be able to flick around with that AWP and deny access to the site. Drop survival integral. Flash designed for him. And here they come. Carrigan straight out. Art does not miss. Loki will be posted on that. He cannot go wide. And on the slither gap, they get across. Twists making a hero maneuver here. Just through the graceful gazelle strafe. Gets the bomb planted. Two Yuri's flanking. V3. Yuri through the apps. Brokey focused on Kitchen, it's Twist responsible for it. Safe might put his head in the vice here. Ticking. 
Molly will force the hand. He has to get out of there. Broke needs to move. Twists, hits it. It's just twists. Looking to come up. Clutch and Art will secure it. More impact from that Art AWP. Three in the round. Furia take our first of OT. Yeah, and I mentioned there within that uh, later end of the second half when they didn't pick it up after he had that massive round, right, to get them back on the board. He looked a little bit frustrated there. Well, in overtime, 12 and a half, there's no dramas him buying the AWP, getting it back out here and finding that impact. So continuing to put down some hard yards. You can see how there's only is more confirmation bias for Art. I get the AWP, I get three kills, we win the round. I don't get the AWP, we lose an opening kill, I don't win the round. It's just constantly reinforcing his suspicions. He has to do it himself. 27 now, and the AWP's back out, of course. We get to see FaZe try it again, this time leading mid. So much flexibility allowed to Art to play here, and uh, they're gluing over towards this area. Safe trying to scope around the connector. Smokes trying to give himself something to work with. The flashes are good. They will force him back. Rain able to get his top mid. The prize possession as part of this default. And as the smokes fade, Brokey is parked top mid. So does he want to take a fight? Does he want to get stuck into this? Brokey's been relatively quiet here on Mirage. So second wave of mid util. A flash towards connector. A smoke towards Yuri. Drop is playing a reactive smoke angle. He must have some keen eyes to be able to hit that gap right there, but he's thought better of this as contact is being taken towards mid. Window re-smoke, going to be running out of util now, our phase. You'd imagine so, yeah. They are very light on nades. I don't see anything bar ROPs. He split. Drop needs to survive. Twist is actually burnt down somehow. Brokey posted up looking for drop and... Art's been taken down. Drop's got so much on his plate now. The rotate's on his way. The cavalry will arrive in time. And Yuri, sprayed down. Not dead yet. 20 HP as Drop has actually survived. Never mind taken down Carrigan. Brokey's trying to pivot late and it could work. Rops has opened up the site. Big time. Caserato, you know he's the dead EA. The Molly. Molly will stop the rotate unless Safe is feeling frisky. Straight through it. Misses the shot. Rops will take another. They are looking scary. Posted up, and another for Brokey. These two, 2v4, drop the hero on B. Now has to come up clutch. They're asking so much. The risk's taken and punished. Oh, they hit the shot perfect. Brokey on the low HP, though. Extends, and it's Robs to secure it. Huge impact from Robs. And that is a gap closer if ever I saw one. Everything indicating that's Fury's second for the picking. That's massive. That's a two on four situation, yeah. right? So the first kill came in from Carrigan. I think it was onto R in the kitchen window. Drop did his job. He defended B. He did exactly what he had to do. And this is the kill onto Twist as he tries to come through connected. This is an important kill, but what's better is the molly. The penny drops and safe goes, I push through this. I get the kill. We win the round. I push through. I die. Well, this happens. Phaser back in 16-16. Who's going to walk away with the one round lead going into the second half? They're trying that pallet this funny business again. Yeah, it didn't work for him last time. Might not work for him again this time. Okay, so has got the perfect angle for us. Smoke's already bloomed. Rain trying to sell it with the same feel to middle. Safe's getting close towards a ramp here. They could get pincered by this. Yeah, unless Yuri's feeling very frisky from the long range palace hold. Util over ramp, that will only encourage and entice them further. They're so close. Palace, fellas, Palace, they're spewing out into the side. Keseratu's caught Robs, but they're in. And safe now, having to fight from ramp. The Molly's perfect. Double Molly, double trouble, pushing now. And a missed shot from safe. This is tight. Very uncomfortable for the fight. Art from CT does not want to engage into Brokey. And drop. Oh, he's lost his life. Faze are threatening for the second here. And oh, oh Art wins the duel. I know where the case Serato and Safe are, though. They both have to be ramp. Twist is so low. Susceptible to case Serato's nade if he could just bounce it off. Rain's going around the world. Art is not going to be considering this. Flames are good. Forces Swiss. Still takes one with him, though. And this rain flank looks like a round securing. They're not even on the bomb. And just like that, Carrigan secures it. FaZe will leave with two T rounds, and that only gets more fearing or fearful for Furia. That is crazy right there. The Uto just holding those A-Ramp players at bay, and that's the perfect call to deal with that. The fact that they get the entry on the way into the site there, I, I cannot believe, right? As soon as Safe takes that shot, they know Case Rotter killed Rops, and they know that Safe was ramped. The fact that that kill from Twist, as he gets mollied out, he gets a frag there? That is crazy. Huge stuff from Twist under pressure. And now the buy-in, Furia bringing out double ops on the T side. You know the art has to be feeling it here to be bringing it out on the T side as well. And look how quick this is. So much mid pressure applied here. It has to be him. In his dialogue, it has to be him. 
gap over that. Flash though. It did lull him in and Twist were going hunting. 27 frags for Twist. He's alive and kicking and Art is not. Rops, aggressive. Phase looking to take a leg up and secure a second OT minimum and the frags keep on coming. Only three left now for the Brazilians. They're walking a little askew. K Serato likely to put his head in that orb of Brokey. Scoped up on Palace. Hard to break now. Smokes are in. Pre-aiming the jump. And Yuri's coming. He's going to oblige. Slips off. Rain from CT. Rops. Oh, the aggression does not stop. You cannot cage him. He takes another. A double kill on the push through the smoke. And safe. Asked to do the impossible. Rops is so scary. He'll make it four. He was all over the map there. And he just wants to end it here. Screw Nuke. I won that grand final, I won it now. Yeah, I gotta reflect back to the first half. Remember what Fury were doing? They were taking the pace out. They weren't doing anything early like this. They gave FaZe finally what they wanted. The frustrations, I think, are starting to spew on over into the game right now. And you're seeing that reflected in the way that Fury approached the first two T rounds here in OT. Just one more now for FaZe. And if Fury continue those desperate maneuvers, I think this one might just fall apart. Well, you want desperate double orbs on T side. Again. Again. It's game time. Brokey opens up onto Art. He tries his luck and does not succeed. It does feel like it's the beginning of the end. Furia lose the opening pick. Can they overcome the odds? You can just feel it now. You've seen the moves that Art's gone for. You see him now just continuing to try and take fights and win out because when he's hit the shots, they've converted the round. But when he gives up his life, like the last two rounds now... His team have to operate without their in-game leader in the server, without their playmaker possible within the mid to late rounds. Now they have to do it through these four alone, and they are walking straight into this angle of twists. If he rips the two heads off, call this one done. Flashes in support as well. Audible dismount. Playing it safe. Brokey gets info top mid. And here they come, walking out. Twist can still win the round on that. Robs is still present as well. Nade is well placed. Shy. Rob spots out safe ex equivalent exchange of information, and that is a brave duel to take. Costs him his life. K Serato won, but it's still twists. He's shooting, and it's K Serato and drop to try and extend play. Brokey, AWP versus AK. K Serato forced to fight. Oh, drop missed his chance. Brokey missed his shot. Bomb on his back. That would have been the round. Carrigan's posted. It's rain that delivers. Oh, and 15 seconds. Phase looking to book a ticket and they